Hello everyone and welcome to another Aptuti video. It's a Monday morning here at the office and uh, everyone is quite busy. But we are going to be giving you something special in today's video. We're going to be walking through the RSPP process from registration to publishing your game into China. So again, the RSPP stands for Register, Submit, Plug and Publish. These are the steps that are developers use to publish their games into the Chinese Android app stores through Aptuti. So we're going to be using an example today from our partner Infinite Rage and his game Zombie Go to show you the steps that it takes to publish your games in China with Aptuti. So let's get started with step number one. First is the initial review. Our team will review the new app submissions and check the promotional materials and details submitted by the App2T partner developer. Next is the content review. The app content will be reviewed by our team. For this example, these were the action points that the App2T partner developer needs to complete before publishing their app in China. Overseas ads are not allowed. App content is not in simplified Chinese. Overseas game analytics and foreign embedded files are banned in China. The next step for the App2T partner is to change their app content to simplified Chinese. They can use App2T's free translation service available on their partner dashboard. After they have received the Chinese language pack, integrated the language into their app, and followed the previous content review requirements, they will have passed the Chinese content approval. When the App2T partner submits their Super SDK integrated .apk, the publishing team will work with our SDK or project development team to test the SDK integrated .apk. After successful testing, the game moves on to our localization team that will create local promotional materials based on the ones submitted by the App2T partner. Now, the project is ready to publish onto our partnered app stores. And now the app is in mainland Chinese app stores, ready for the millions of mobile gamers to access. Our partners can check their performance and user data 24-7 anywhere through their partner dashboard. And that is it for this video of talking and showing you through the RSPP process. So we've reached out to our partnered developer uh, from Infinite Rage and uh, we asked him some simple questions um, about how he thought about the publishing process and uh, let me read them to you to now. So we asked him, how did you find Aptuti? He said that after he developed Zombie Go, they were interested in publishing their game in China, but they didn't have any idea how to do it until they found App2T on LinkedIn and then went through our process. So you can find us on LinkedIn. The link to our LinkedIn page will be below. We also asked them what made them choose App2T. They said uh, it made publishing in games in China unbelievably easy, which is very nice. Thank you very much. And we asked, how was the SDK integration process? So this is the part that we saw in the video where developers will integrate their SDK versions and our SDK, will te SDK team will test it. He said working with our SDK was very easy and reading the SDK documents made it much simpler to integrate. And the last question we asked them was, what would you say to other developers that are looking to publish their games in China? He said, in one word, App2T, because App2T is a complete package for developers who want to publish their games in China. So very nice words from Infinite Rage. You can check out Zombie Go and Detective Puzz in the links below, as well as the links to his their social medias. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you on the next App2T video. Subscribe, hit that bell icon to know more about the life inside of a Chinese mobile game publisher. See you next time.